Guys, there is a new electric toothbrush on the market, but how well does it stand up to the electric toothbrush giants like the Oral-B? Let's talk about it. So today I'm comparing the Lathan Wave electric toothbrush to the Oral-B IO Series 8. So first I'm gonna go over some specs and features for both of these brushes, and then I'll show you on my own teeth how well each of these performs, and then I'll share my final thoughts. Let's start with the Oral-B IO. So the IO is Oral-B's newest series. It includes magnetic technology, which is supposed to give you a more powerful yet gentler clean. The Oral-B that I'm using is the Series 8, and this series runs for about $250 last I checked. Now for $250, $250 you get three brush heads, three brush heads, a magnetic charger with a built-in stand, a travel case, and of course the brush itself. Now I personally ended up getting a different set of brush heads. I got the sensitivity ones, they're a little bit softer. I find that a powerful electric toothbrush plus stiff bristles equals danger for the gums. So I try to get softer bristles, especially for electric toothbrushes. Now the brush itself features a smart pressure sensor. So when you turn it on, if you press it just right, it lights up green. And then if it's not hard enough, it's kind of a yellowish orange color. And then too hard, it lights up red. It also comes in six brushing modes, as well as a quadrant timer. Basically, it buzzes every 30 seconds to let you know when to move on to the next section because you're supposed to brush your teeth in sections. Now, if I lost you there, make sure to check out my video on how to use an electric toothbrush properly. I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. Now, you can also connect the Oral-B toothbrush to the Oral-B app. This app focuses on tracking how well you brush your teeth, as well as just overall keeping tabs on your brushing habits. Another couple of things to note is the battery on this toothbrush lasts up to two weeks and then it takes about three hours to get a full charge and lastly the motor reaches a speed of up to 49 approximately 49,000 movements per minute okay now let's compare the Lathan side by side with the Oral-B so first I just have to mention this unboxing the Lathan was a very pleasant experience normally I don't really notice or pay attention to or really even care about the unboxing experience but it literally felt like I was opening up an Apple product it was very aesthetic and very easy to open. But anyway, this Lathan with the aluminum alloy handle costs about $80, so significantly less than the Oral-B. Now for $80, you also get three brush heads. I've been using this uh, really thin bristled brush head option, but it also comes with a couple of different options for you to play around with and choose whichever one you like best. It also comes with a simple USB charging cable has a little um, adapter here. And then of course the brush handle itself. It does not come with a travel case like the Oral-B. You can buy a travel case separately. I think it runs for about $15. That's kind of the breakdown for the cost and what you get for that price. Now I didn't see any sort of pressure sensor on the Lathan. After researching, I found that it provides a steady continuous flow of power no matter how hard you're pressing. It does have a quadrant timer, but the only way to access it is you have to download the app and switching the 30 second reminder on. Now for me, this was actually kind of a drawback. I'm not huge on technology and I hate downloading apps for things, especially for a toothbrush. I just want to be able to click and go. Even with the Oral-B, I never bothered downloading the app for that. So the fact that you have to download the app to turn on or turn off the quadrant timer feature, I know it may be silly for some of you, but it really is like almost a deal breaker for me. Now when I asked them about this, uh, they did mention that once you turn on that feature in the app and you never use the app again, it'll still work for for you. Now, if you are into technology, downloading the app is actually super easy. I just put in my email here and it sent me a code. I entered the code and connected the toothbrush to the app via Bluetooth. And then you can customize the intensity of the brush movements. There are literally hundreds of combinations you can achieve. Anyway, the last couple of features to note here, the battery lasts up to 45 days. So definitely more than the Oral-B at two weeks. And it takes about 2.5 hours to get a full charge. The motor on this thing can reach up to 66,000 movements per minute. Now, while that is impressive and quite a bit more than the Oral-B, I do want to note that when I tried using the Lathan on the highest setting at 66,000 movements per minute, it felt way too powerful. So I think while 66,000 movements is impressive, it's not quite necessary. Now, one of the biggest differences between these two brushes is the brush head shape as well as the mode of action. So the Oral-B has a round brush head and it rotates as well as pulsates 
to clean your teeth. The Lathan is a little bit more rectangular or oval um, for the brush head shape, and it has a very unique mode of action. So not only does it vibrate like a standard electric toothbrush, the brush head actually moves 60 degrees side to side. So see if you can see this. I've actually never seen this in an electric toothbrush. We'll see how it works in a little bit. But before I move on to that, one more thing real quick. Let's compare the sound slash volume of these two toothbrushes. Although sound is not a really important factor for me, I know that it can be a pretty big deal for consumers. So here is the Oral-B. And here is the Lathan. So it sounds like the Oral-B is a little bit louder. I find that the Oral-B is actually louder than most electric toothbrushes just because the way it works is a little bit different with the rotating and the pulsating versus just the vibrating of other electric toothbrushes. But anyway, Lathan is quieter, so there's that. All right, so specs and features are all fine and good, but how well do these toothbrushes actually work to clean my teeth? Check it out. So this is my teeth after using the Oral-B. Now I didn't brush my teeth for a full day and then I used the Oral-B in the evening before bed. I didn't floss my teeth before using the toothbrush, just so you can see a little bit better how well this toothbrush may or may not reach on the corners of the teeth. So again, take a look at my teeth, a little bit on the gum line uh, on these bottom teeth here I missed, and then little splotches here and there on the imperfections of my teeth. And then on the bottom inside of one side of my mouth here, pretty good along the gum line. You can see a little bit of pink along the corners of my teeth. Again, those are flossing surfaces. So a testament of why you need to floss. A toothbrush does not reach all the areas of your teeth. And then on the other side, same thing. Pretty good along the gum line, a little bit around the corners that I missed, or I should say the toothbrush missed because it's a flossing surface. So overall, not bad. I would like to see better. But anyway, let's move on to the Lathan. So this is my teeth after using the Lathan. Again, different day, didn't brush my teeth for a whole day, and then I used the Lathan before bed. And same thing here, I didn't floss my teeth before using the toothbrush, so you'll see some pink along the corners of my teeth here. So again, same spot, missed along the gum line there on those two teeth. That might actually be not my, at this point, I'm gonna say definitely use your error. I need to work on brushing that area better, note to self. And then on the bottom insides of my teeth, again, corners of the teeth are pink. That's a flossing area, same on the other side. So overall, pretty similar results to the Oral-B. By the way, if you guys are finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So overall, all thoughts. I've used a lot of electric toothbrushes over the years. My go-to has always been the Oral-B. That being said, I'm not overly impressed with this IO series. I know on paper they say it's the best clean you can get, etc, etc, but in real life it felt, not even sure, like too much was going on and not enough all at the same time. I've really enjoyed the Oral-B Genius series. Actually, my husband is using the Oral-B Genius and has been using it for the past 10 years with the same brush. No issues, he loves it. I even gave him the IO to try and he said the same thing as me, like it didn't feel like quite as clean as with the Genius. And he's not even a dental professional, so. Basically, I would say I wouldn't go out of my way to buy an Oral-B IO. Now, for the Lathan, it's definitely a different brush head movement. In fact, it took a hot sec to get used to that, but my teeth did feel pretty clean afterwards. The one thing that I found very alarming was if I happened to accidentally touch the backside of the toothbrush to my other teeth while brushing my teeth, it was actually very, like, I don't even, it wasn't shocking, but a little uncomfortable. Take a look. Basically, I think what's happening is because of the design, the motor is connected to the entire brush head, not just the bristles. So if you touch the backside of the toothbrush to your other teeth, you're getting that full vibration on your other teeth, which is kind of a jolt of power. With the Oral-B, you're getting all the action focused on the brush bristles, not the backside of the toothbrush. So there's not that alarming vibration happening if you accidentally touch your teeth. So anyway, overall, the Lathan is quite a bit cheaper. Even the brush head replacements are cheaper at $3 per brush head versus the Oral-B at about $8 per brush head. And based off of what I saw on my own teeth with the pictures side by side, I would say it offers just as good of a cleaning experience as the Oral-B IO at a fraction of the price, I might add. So if you don't mind a couple of the technical things that I mentioned, like the lack of a pressure sensor and having to access the 30 minute timer on the app, this brush is actually very much a worthy contender right up there with the Oral-B IO series. So I approve. All right. Right, comment below with any questions or concerns you might have. Make sure to check out the description below for any links to the product. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of your teeth.